Hello everyone, I am Divya, your math facilitator. So in this session, I am going to give you a rough idea of which questions you need to revise once before you go to sleep today. Okay. So firstly, I gave you all chapters important questions. All chapters are done. So please check out those questions. Okay. Also, also right now I am going to tell you what to revise before you sleep. So firstly, drawings. You have a lot of diagrams in your textbook. So drawings, this visual representation, this carries seven marks. So here in vis vis visual representation, you can take up ray diagrams. So ray diagrams you find in three chapters, chapter number one, four and five. So please check out those ray diagrams. They may ask you complete the ray diagram or they, they may ask you ray diagram in part B. Complete the, co complete the ray diagram for very short or they may ask you uh, how, how is the image formed draw the ray diagram uh, pertaining to that so you have to draw okay so draw, draw the ray diagram when when does a concave mirror form a virtual image so draw the ray diagram so that you have to draw so ray diagrams are important and after that from chemical bonding chapter you have diagrams okay and uh, molecular structure diagrams you have so molecular structure diagrams so triple bond hybridization these diagrams you will learn okay apart from that now experiments you have in the textbook lab activities okay you have lab activities in the textbook from these lab activities you will get nine marks so one essay question one very short and one part b so like that you will get from these experiments so how they will ask then in in very short they will ask you what is the experimental setup Okay, so suppose the ZN and HCL reaction, that experiment is a lab activity. So they will ask you what is the uh, apparatus used in that. So that will be for two marks. Okay, or they may ask you what happens when ZN reacts with HCL. So that is for one mark part B. Okay, or they may ask you to explain the experiment. So here in the experiments, if you have read it, all the lab activities, it is well and good. If you did not read the lab activities, at least first learn the diagrams in the lab activity. So what happens is when you learn the diagram, when they ask you the question, even if you don't know the particular answer, if you draw a diagram also, you will get two marks out of six I am saying. Out of six, definitely two marks you will get at least if you draw the diagram. Okay. So all these diagrams, diagrams relating to ray diagrams, molecular structures and all. And also the diagrams related to the experiments, all the lab activities you will learn. So diagram part is done. Then also learn the lab activities. So very few lab activities you have. So this lab activities will give you nine marks. And here you have 17. So total 16 mark. Pass mark here itself you are getting. In the part B, ki, uh, part B lo kudo kone questions mein easy ka chases tar. So, here itself you will get pass marks at least for those students who are still struggling with your syllabus. After this, after this daily life application, okay, you will have questions on daily life application. What is this daily life application? I will tell you. Six marks will be from daily life application. For example, so simple problems like... Uh, what, what what is the uh, focal length of the lens which we which we need to use for a uh, particular defect in the eye so that problem okay or they may ask you uses uses of bleaching powder uses of uh, say baking soda so all the uses you will have to learn very few you have okay and this will give you six marks after this what will you learn conceptual understanding okay concepts will have 18 marks so questions based on the concepts for example, just now in carbon and its compounds, I gave you questions like uh, explain isomerism and catenation properties of carbon. So this comes under conceptual understanding. So these type of questions, you will get it for 18 marks. Understood? So 18 there plus 9, 27. And again, one more 7 mark, 34 plus 6, 40 marks. Understood? How is the paper going to be? So first thing, you just prepare drawings drawings from all these chapters and drawings from the experiments if it is over so almost seven marks here and plus two marks for drawing i said no so nine marks nine marks will be in your hand then daily life application you don't have in every chapter i already gave you chapter as important questions only there for example assets and bases has lot of daily life uh, application uses uses of bleaching powder baking soda uh, washing soda and all this after that 
you have users in uh, met metallurgy chapter also so those users so very very few users you have learned them okay and small problems also you learn after this what will you do concept based questions if you know any any questions which are easy for you you will learn them first then go to lab activities complete the lab activities at least few lab activities you will have to learn okay so this is the strategy which you are going to do before you go to sleep you will see that did you finish all this or not okay so these are all the must read questions before you go to exam so do complete these questions okay and do share it with all your friends as well and do comment and let me know after you come back from your exam and do send me the question paper as well all the very best people thank you so much for being here please prepare well all the best